That's why today, I'm asking the question, can you beat Fallout 3 as the antagonizer? The rules for this run are pretty simple. I'm only allowed to use the ant sting to damage enemies, and I can only wear the ant agonizer's costume and helmet. As for companions, well, we'll get to that later. This idea was inspired by Nervous Can You Beat Fallout 3 as the Mechanist video. I put a link to his video in the description, so make sure to check out his channel and show some support. After being born, I name myself the Antagonizer and try to make myself vaguely resemble the real deal. The helmet will cover my face the entire playthrough, so it doesn't really matter in the long run. For my special stats, I go with high strength or extra melee damage, no perception because the skills it boosts are important for this build, high endurance to make up for my lackluster armor, no charisma since I'll be using violence to solve my problems, and I spread the rest of my points between intelligence, agility, and luck. After a lackluster birthday party, I take off the vault suit to avoid failing the run, dodge Beatrice's awful poetry, and make it down to the reactor level to kill the rad roach. Instead of using the BB gun, I decide to use my fist to make it a bit more fair. Skipping the goat, I pick melee weapons, repair, and medicine as my tag skills. One run through the vault without attacking anything later, I arrive in the capital wasteland and level up, picking Black Widow as my perk. I do a little trading and talk to Lucas Sims wants Wait. me to help with his bomb problem. We'll get to that later. Some kid called Those Brian monsters. runs up to me and tells me about some me. things attacking his town. I use my strength to convince him to tell me they're ants. My this looks like a job for the antagonizer, alright? Don't worry, we'll come back for this quest later on. After stumbling around Grey Ditch in the metro, dodging unruly ants trying to attack their queen, I meet Dr. Lesko. Or I mean, a talking door named Dr. Lesko. He tells me about his plan to reduce the size of the ants, and how I made them breathe fire, and oh my god, he sounds like a walking nerd emoji. That's no way to talk to a man of science. To make a long story short, he wants to use us to fix his mistakes. Typical. After getting murked by some super mutants, I managed to make it to Wilhelm's Wharf, where son of a bitch! Grandma Sparkle runs away into her shack, knowing the curse will protect her there. Clever, but I'll be back. Running from some raiders and past the citadel, I meet another untimely end at the hands of a frag mine. Ah! More running from raiders later, I stop for a moment. discover Rivet City and the Jefferson Memorial for later. I then head back to Megaton for some trading for going to Big Town. Take it easy, I'm just doing my job, what do you want? And then finally to Hubris Comics where I get chewed on by some jewels. If you're wondering why I came to Hubris Comics, it'll make sense later. Trust me. After getting the computer entry I needed, I reveal why I stopped at Big Town. Gusty. A little ant buddy that follows you around. Oh. Oh, you cute little giant ant. You are. Yes, you are. Unfortunately, I think... ...of Canterbury Commons, this is where we meet our arch-nemesis, the Mechanist and someone pretending to be the Uncle Ro, Uncle Ro it gives me a quest to get rid of the problem. The problem being, the, the um, mechanist and an agonizer are playing we hero and villain with Canterbury stuck in between. After making it through the mechanist's slayer, the I used the Black Widow perk you? I picked up at the beginning now, to convince citizen, him to give up I'll the mantle. Is... is that true? Have I really become a threat to the town? Do you really feel that way? Am I really the villain here? Does this mean I should stop myself? I... I guess I could just give up my suit and stop being the mechanist. But I couldn't face the town after causing that much trouble. 
Here, please. Take the suit. I don't want to think about it anymore. He gives me the suit, and I return to the Ant Agonizer for my reward. At last, you've pried the shell off that meaty little mechanist. Give it to me. Excellent. It shall make a fine memento of a nemesis bested. A trophy of a foe antagonized. For your loyal assistance, take this blade. Its sting carries the venom of a thousand ants, and your foes shall tremble before it. Now that the tin-plated menace is no more, I shall take my leave of this town. I do believe it's time for my colony to spread. Ant sting. A unique version of the no knife that does four points of poison damage over ten seconds. This effect stacks, making it very effective during prolonged combat. Since she doesn't give me the suit, I have to take it by force. I then put it on and don the mantle of the Ant Agonizer. After turning in the quest to Uncle Ro, I, I finish what the Ant Agonizer started. Whatever. Stop it. <laughs> there you go. I level up, spreading around my points and bumping my agility to 9. Arriving at Smith Casey's garage, I'm forced to take off the costume. But since I'm not fighting anything, it doesn't really break the rules. I do look hella goofy with the helmet and the vault suit mixed together though. In Tranquility Lane, I just use the failsafe and start the Kami invasion protocol, allowing me to escape. After finding my dad, I level up putting points into repair and choosing educated as my perk. Before leaving, I get revenge on the Robobrain for making me wear that stupid fault suit. This is a Going to Rivet City, I do some trading, let Dr. Lee finish her speech, get the deets, and head to the Jefferson Memorial to clear out the super mutants and do some mindless busy work. This is where Ant Sting really shines. Against the big, bulky, high health super mutants, the poison hits multiple times and stacks to drain their health faster than a mole rat on jet. It's also good at mm, curing Garza's heart condition. I then head back to Megaton, take some smart boy pills, and disarm the bomb, getting a hefty reward from Lucas Sims. Eventually, the Enclave arrives, Colonel Autumn is a big meanie, and Liam Neeson dies. I head through the tunnel, killing ghouls and Enclave members galore. Citadel to gather our bearings. This is where I avenge Gusty with another mod I downloaded, one that allows me to summon an army of ants worthy of the Queen. Unfortunately, Rivet City doesn't seem to be too open to the idea. I do know somewhere more suitable for the concept, though. The ants go marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. We slaughter termites just for fun, hurrah, hurrah. 
After telling Brian the bad news about his papa, You, you know what you are? You're a big asshole. My papa said never to say that word, but you deserve it. I search through a terminal and look for the source of the ants. Not before looting through Super Duper Mart for Moira though. In the tunnels, I fight with some more unruly ants, fart around for a bit, talk to Dr. Lesko, tell Vera to take the poor kid home. Poor dear. I know what it's like to be alone. I'd love to take him in. Don't worry. I have the means to keep him fed and healthy, but most importantly, safe. Oh, that's wonderful. I hope you found me a place to live. You really found her? Oh, thank you so much! I can't believe everything you've done for me. Most people would have kept on walking when I ran up to them screaming like I did. I'll get my stuff together and move on out there right away. Come visit me sometime. Level up, and I put all my points into melee weapons, picking bloody mess as my perk. At the Citadel, I am told I must go to Vault 87 to find the Gek for Project Purity. Simple, right? Wrong. No, since I lack the skills or perks required to get into Little Lamplight, I have to go to Paradise Falls and save their snot-nosed friends from the Slaver's Guild. At least it gives me a chance to show off the might of the Antagonizer. Over here! After that ordeal, I level up again, putting more points into melee weapons and boosting my endurance to 9. I finally make my way into Vault 87, where I show some mutants the righteous fury of the Antagonizer. I also rescue Fox, who helps me get the Gek and becomes roast beef for his troubles.
I then get ant napped by Colonel Autumn. Hey, you. Finally awake. Who interrogates me for a bit before President oh, Eden tells him to sawed off. I level up Mr. once President. more, maxing out melee weapons, putting the rest of my points into medicine, and getting my endurance up to a solid 10. Unfortunately, my costume is too broken to be worn, meaning I must tackle this next mission, uh, Commando. I managed to make it through Raven Rock. and head back to the Citadel, where the fight for the Jefferson Memorial can begin. This is the final battle! Liberty Prime is activated. I make it through the purifier with ease. Turn Curl Autumn into ant food. Insert the virus into the purifier, ensuring humankind will make way for their ant masters and beat Fallout 3 as the antagonizer. This run was fun, not only because I got to roleplay as an arthropod obsessed supervillain, but because the ant sting is actually a pretty decent weapon if used outside of vats. While it wasn't too difficult overall, there were still some hiccups now and then that threw me off my toes. If you liked the video, make sure to like, subscribe, or leave a suggestion for a new challenge run. I'm sure you've heard that a million times, but every little bit really does help. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. You.